It's been a big difference off the bench for Phoenix. Eulis to the baseline. Tough shot, that, making that runner. And I thought that Aaron Brooks did a pretty good job trying to get back in front of him. Eulis against Niang, got him in the air, and a foul on George Niang. Well, George has got to stay down. I mean, I thought they, there could have been some contact caused by Eulis. Pass to Stuckey, half court. He's got time. Yeah, Eulis came all the way from the other end to get his hand on it. That shows you the quickness, the quickness of Tyler Eulis. He, he made a bad pass there to get victories, particularly at home. I mean, and that's just a, a, a bad pass oh. there. Suns have six in double figures, led by the 17 of Brandon Knight, and now Eulis. I mean, they haven't even gone back to Brandon Knight or Devin Booker or Eric Bledsoe. They kept this group on the floor as Teague turns it over again. Well, that's the computer, but he's got some versatility. Dealing with Charge and Robert Covington. Charge and Timmy Nett for Covington. Phoenix have of course, the turnover. So Eulis now, the rookie, running things along with Bledsoe, who is freely staying in midair, catching it and finishing it, but he decided to catch it and gather, become a little stronger and explosive as he put it back up. And in fact, they give an assist to Rodriguez, who's got seven here. The Murata reporting on Twitter that the Sixers worked out the guy who just made the hoop, Tyler Eulis, the Phoenix Suns, and actually considered drafting him as. The Suns tee it up on the other end. Because Eulis' quickness has caused Jeff Teague problems that anyone can make. Eulis gets inside and puts it up and in again. And that's one of them. I mean, he's able to turn the corner where Teague needs to handle Tell it. He truly does. Who plays the hardest, the longest. And this guy has put on a show. A lot of Kentucky Wildcat fans in the building in a 10-point second half for Tyler Eulis. Eulis broke it up. Quick dribble to set up Booker, and he'll get the dunk for our first made basket. Eulis will pull up for the mid-range shot and drop it. Big part of the future of this Suns team after averaging just under 14 a game last year. Eulis the drop off. Eulis calling for Bender. Ooh, off one foot, he gets it to go. Maybe not how he planned it, but he improvised and knocked it down. Bender. Moving without the ball and drops it home from about five feet. Jackson slips, somehow maintained control. Ewis has it. Everybody fighting for it now. They'll they'll call a jump ball. Uh oh, uh oh. Up top, they tried to get it back to Chris. Ewis will knock down the jumper before the shot clock. Booker elevating and knocking down the shot. Was taking Marquise Chris to school on that sequence defensively before turning it over. Brown going to try and chase that one down. Commits the foul on Allen Williams. Off the steal, here's Eulis, a three on one. Brown chased it down, and Chris got the tip. Marquise Chris has a nice face up game. And there you see the savvy of Tyler Eulis. I'm not sure there was a more important player to that Wildcat team than this guy. Uh, I wouldn't put him in the category of a marquee player you can build around. Tell you what, you put the ball in Isaiah Thomas's hands at the end of the game, and he's going to get a bunker to get to the free throw line. Here's Booker from deep. And Devin Booker showing off that range. His demeanor and his professional approach to things. He is very open and honest with his players, Brad Stevens is. That's what Isaiah Thomas tells me. And not afraid to text guys and say, hey, come to my office. We've got to talk about some things. NBA TV tomorrow, 4.30 and 6.30, Brooklyn, Atlanta. Toronto against Dallas, followed by Miami, Denver, Sacramento, and New Orleans on ESPN2. Brown stripped by Eulis. Carl Anthony Towns is sitting a few seats down from us. Obviously a lot of talent on this team. Andrew Wiggins, the two-time dunk champion, Zach Levine. Eulis gets downhill, and he is very accomplished at that floater. With that size and that dribbling ability, that's just going to make you that deadly of an offensive team. He's Chris lights up Vegas. Talk about the decision to take Tyler Eulis. It always amazes me when a conference player of the year in a Power Five conference, uh, the SEC, Eulis is the player of the year and defensive player of the year in that conference, and he slides to the second round. It's just a matter of taste now if the coach, is, if the coach likes you. Eulis back to Chris. 
Back to Euless and Tyler Euless. Money in the mid range. Try to shoot these long range shots and be accurate with them. Tyler, hook us up with a dime to Williams. Oh, Euless said, uh uh. I'm going to take the foul from Nick Moore and put it in. It's a big deal in Chicago. And everyone that I, I spoke to and everyone that I talked to about it, everyone's happy to have him back home in Chicago. Pat Riley is great. But it didn't become the Miami Heat place of destination until Dwayne Wade showed up. Some updates from Magruder. He has a hip contusion. He's okay. not coming back in the ball game. That's I why understand. we haven't seen Magruder. I want you all to watch 54 in black. O'Carroll White. He's an unheralded guy out of Florida State. All he does is make plays, and that is a nice take on the fast break. Two great plays by Euless. Euless has to be vigilant here and not pick up another foul. Nick Moore bodying him. Euless hanging and hitting with the left hand. Yeah, and he's so good in that in that mid-range space and that in the open court. Here's Euless. Off to Bender. And the corner three is good. I think Kevin Durant last year said at times I am worried that he's gonna hurt his right hand. Yeah, I mean they dunk it so hard and they hit the rim with such force. Neil O'Shea, who's a great friend of mine, asked me to come into the organization of Portland Trailblazers and be that mentor guy for Dane Lillard, as he's been McCullough. He can run the team, he's aggressive. He's averaging like five steals a game in summer league, which is hard to do. And on two, he hits a jump shot. We love him. And there's no other better person who's been there last year, Devin Booker, to teach him that it's okay. On cue again. Like, you see every that? time we talk about them, they hit shots. And most, most teams, most people don't block out. We see Euless again hit the mid-range shot. And now Euless with under 10 on the shot clock. Euless down to three, down to two. Got him. Shoots over Rudd and hits. We are still tied at 62. Seven foot three prospect for the Atlanta Hawks. And Tyler Euless puts the Suns up too. Troy Williams spinning. Back out to Euless. Plenty of time on the shot clock, but Euless with the handoff to Allen Williams, and he softly puts it in to tie the game. Rick Hamler, Isaiah Thomas, Dennis Scott having a ball at Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas. Euless with some fancy dribbling. Step back over Rudd, and he hit it. What a shot! Here's Euless. Stop, pop, and drop. Oh, yeah. This business for him. Rodriguez, it's for three. Gracias. Molly Sullivan mentioning at halftime that Joel Embiid scored his... The Sixers tie a franchise record with their 17th three of the game. Eulis. is ready to go. Talk to Mr. Rigo. See what he has in mind. He doesn't listen to me. Wawa Cabarro promptly rejected by the 7 1 Dragon Bender. That is Chris for three, and he hit it. Eulis pulls for Alan Williams. Hollis Thompson threw it away. Sixers getting a bit careless here in the final stages as Bender. Been a big difference off the bench for Phoenix. Eulis to the baseline. Tough shot. That, making that runner. But I thought that Aaron Brooks did a pretty good job trying to get back in front of him. Eulis against Niang. Got him in the air and a foul on George Niang. Well, George has got to stay down. I mean, I thought they, there could have been some contact caused by Eulis. Pass to Stuckey half court. He's got time. Yeah, but Eulis came all the way from the other end to get his hand on it. That shows you the quickness, the quickness of Tyler Eulis. He, he made a bad pass there to get victories, particularly at home. I mean, and that's just a, a, a bad pass there. Suns have six in double figures, led by the 17 of Brandon Knight, and now Eulis. I mean, they haven't even gone back to Brandon Knight or Devin Booker or Eric Bledsoe, they kept this group on the floor as Teague turns it over again. Well, that's because Euless' quickness has caused Jeff Teague problems that anyone can make. Euless gets inside and puts it up and in again. And that's one of them. I mean, he's able to turn the corner where Teague needs to handle it. He surely does. Who plays the hardest, the longest? And this guy's put on a show. A lot of Kentucky Wildcat fans in the building in a 10-point second half for Tyler Euless.